Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV Dress, we come up with new video. This video is very important because this video is all about a very important CMS in the CCTV industry called as Roshi Cloud for PC. So in this video, we are going to discuss that what is Roshi Cloud for PC application and its feature and characteristic and after that we will tell you that what are the minimum system requirement and after that we will move the move our video to a practical part means how you get the file and how you install them and how you configure them to make the camera light so keep watching and please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start the video so what is Zoshi cloud for PC application the application is manufactured and marketed by Zoshi Industries. It is a Hong Kong company that was established in 2006. The company has a track record of 15 years. It has a durable CCTV service product. The long range of product complies with high standard. The service are top class. The, the application designed by this company has prominent feature. It can live relay without any lag time. It has many features. It can operate device from any remote location. It can pan. It can Bant it and zoom it is with cameras. So, but basically, CMS is a software given by the company so that you are able to view uh, remote location cameras or multiple location cameras to a single place. Now, after that, we are talking about its feature and function. Then, the, this application has several challenge functions. It has almost all the functions that all the other CMS have. Now the application offer live views and run seamlessly. There is no delay in its relay and reception. It provides continuous streaming. The apps use advanced network technology. It means that it auto adjusts the bandwidth frame rate according to the bandwidth. It has a high resolution and the application maintains the two-way audio if your camera is audio enabled. When it detects any movement or sound, it send up push messages it means push notification is there you can operate a ptz camera anywhere and you can all you can pan till zoom pan tilt and zoom now we will move it our video to our practical parts means how you able to download or get this app and how you configure them and how you can how you make them live so for this you should open chrome browser And after that, you should you should open any browser. I am using Chrome in my case. And after that, you, you should Google for Yoshi Cloud for PC and press Enter. When you press Enter, you find uh, one of my, one of my favorite website is there. Just open the website and scroll a little you find a download button link just open download button link and it will redirect you or you to a page where we have to wait for 10 seconds so that it enable downloaded file now here is file is downloaded available just click on this file and you will able to download Now the download is completed. When download is completed, you should click on this arrow and after that click in show in folder. When you cl click on show, show in folder, you get 
it will redirect you to a download page where you find your file. Here is our downloaded file. Just right click on the downloaded file and click as extract. When you click on extract, you will get the same folder name with the same same as file name. Just open the folder and here is your application file or a solar file or .exe file. Just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator. Click on yes. Now click OK. Now click next. Now click installed. Now click finish. Here it will ask for a username and a password. So here you should enter your username and password. Now it will ask for you to register. Just click on the register. And here you should click India and here you should enter your email ID and after that click on password. and click on get code now open your gmail account here you will find your code And here it asks for password. Now you, you find that user you successfully register successfully now click on login you should select your area and after that click username and here click on the password now click login now you should wait after that this is our interface of the software and click on the control panel Now you find the menu option. After that, the device is empty. The first thing you should you should find that way how to you how you add the device. For this. Here you, you find the device op ID option. So in my case, I uh, using the NVR. So here you find a different type of camera and a PTZ camera, all type of camera you find here. So in my case, I have a NVR, so I just click on this. And after that, it asks for a device name. So I should click a device name here. And now it asks for a device ID. So I just give my device ID and it has a 
4 channel so I have entered 4 channel and ask for the password please note that this is the password of the device means the device you are adding in my case I am using the password so here it is my password so I am using password of the device and click save to find that your camera is live thanks for watching please like share and subscribe thank you once again